you all so much. And can we have another round of applause for the superb executive counselor, Chris Pappas? Thank you. Thank you all for your hard work and your support through this campaign. Most of all, thank you to the people of New Hampshire for once again placing your trust in me. First of all, I am proud. I am proud of the work that all of us, Democrats, Republicans and independents have done together over the past two years. And I will keep working as hard as I can every single day to honor your trust and to make progress for all of the people of New Hampshire. First, let me thank my family for all of their support. My husband, Tom, and our children, Ben and Meg. My mom, Peggy. My brother, Frank. My sister, Franny, is watching at home. And we're joined tonight, too, by our family of the heart, Liz and Joyce. Thank you for being here, too. Without you and your support, all that we have accomplished over the past two years and this campaign would not have been possible. Thank you, family, for everything. Let me also take a moment to thank Walt Havenstein for his campaign. <laughs> democracy, democracy depends on a vibrant debate of issues and ideas. And I thank Walt and his wife, Judy, for their willingness to engage in New Hampshire's unique and special democratic process. <laughs> Our process in the Granite State is special because the people of New Hampshire engage with you. They tell you their priorities and encourage elected officials to work together to solve problems. That's how we have accomplished so much together over the past two years. We froze tuition at our public colleges and universities and lowered it. And we lowered it at our community colleges. We balanced the budget without a sales or income tax. We doubled the R&D tax credit. We passed, we passed a bipartisan plan to address our transportation infrastructure. And we made health care accessible to 50,000 New Hampshire residents. We did it together through Medicaid expansion. have set the foundation for a stronger, more innovative economic future. Now we must build on that progress. We must continue to find common ground and common sense solutions to our state's challenges. Two years ago, we started together on a path to ensure that New Hampshire is a place where everyone is included, everyone is respected, and everyone has an opportunity to succeed.
As I have traveled our state, I am constantly reminded of how much Granite Staters treasure those values and live them in their own lives every day. Together, we will continue to work to help our innovative businesses grow and strengthen our economy to expand opportunity for all families. Together, we will make it easier for small, high-tech businesses to launch in New Hampshire and create jobs here. Together, we will make it easier for our families to get ahead by continuing our health care expansion, by holding down the cost of higher education, and by restoring and increasing the minimum wage in New Hampshire. Together, we will make sure we, can, we continue to position our state for the future by expanding affordable energy options, strengthening our transportation infrastructure, including rail, and by modernizing, and by modernizing science, technology, engineering, and math education in our public schools. And we will do it while maintaining fiscal responsibility, balancing the budget without an income or sales tax. From early results, it appears that the New Hampshire legislature will remain closely divided between Democrats and Republicans. Two years ago, I said we should see this not as an obstacle, but as an opportunity to move beyond the partisan divide. That is exactly what we did, and that is exactly how we should move forward. I extend a hand of friendship and cooperation to all of the legislators elected tonight, Republicans, Democrats, and Independents. Elections are about distinctions. Governing is about finding common ground in service to our shared love of New Hampshire and its people. We will not always agree on the first pass. We will debate, sometimes vigorously. But if all of us maintain a willingness to solve problems and a willingness to reach common sense solutions and compromise, then we will keep moving New Hampshire forward. As governor, I remain ready to work with anyone and everyone who is willing to roll up their sleeves and find common ground. I like to say that we live in an all-hands-on-deck state where people are willing to pitch in and do their part whenever there is a need. It is that all-hands-on-deck spirit that will allow us to work together to keep New Hampshire the best place in the nation to live, earn a living, and to raise a family. It is that spirit that will allow us to continue to come together to strengthen the foundation of our economy so that our innovative businesses can grow and create new jobs. And it is that spirit that will help us expand opportunity for all of our people. That, that must be our mission for the next two years and beyond, and I am incredibly grateful for the chance to continue to serve the state of New Hampshire.
were successful because of the work of so many. I'd like to take a moment to thank my campaign chair, Alan Reich. And my fiscal agent and dear friend, Karen Pryor. I want to thank my wonderful campaign staff and the remarkable supporters that they mobilized. A special thanks to my great campaign manager, Mark Goldberg. And thanks, too, to the wonderfully talented, coordinated campaign director, John Vivona, who got out the vote. I also want to thank the spectacular members of our all-female delegation. Senator Jean Shaheen. <laughs> Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter. And Congresswoman Annie McLean Custer. I'd also like to thank Chairman Ray Buckley and the hard-working staff of the New Hampshire Democratic Party. Thank you as well to my Chief of Staff, Pamela Walsh, and my dedicated staff. Pam, Pam leads a dedicated staff in the Governor's Office who work hard every day to deliver results for the people of New Hampshire. And most of all, most of all, I want to thank the people across New Hampshire who opened their homes, businesses, and hearts to me, sharing their stories and their hopes and dreams for New Hampshire's future. We have made real progress together, but in the words of New Hampshire's great Robert Frost, there are still miles to go before we sleep. Yeah. I am ready to roll up my sleeves and get back to work, and I know that all of you are ready too. Together, we will move forward. Thank you, New Hampshire. And now let's get back to work. Thank you.